Hey climbers, my name is Alex. Today we're going to cover three different techniques to self-massage your foot. It's going to feel super good after taking off your climbing shoes. Let's check them out. Grab a yoga strap and place it around your foot. This is not a hamstring stretch, so go to a place where you can totally relax. Heads down, shoulders are relaxed, and all you're going to do is create a little bit of friction on the bottom of your foot. Let your ankle get super wobbly, and then go pretty quick. Make sure to get all the way from the ball of your foot to your heel. This is gonna create some heat, get everything ready and primed to roll. It's also just going to dust the cobwebs off from being in your tight, crazy climbing shoes. To switch sides, simply put your other foot in the strap and go to town. Remember to go from the ball all the way to the heel. Awesome. So place the ball under the transverse arch, AKA the toe knuckles. Keep your heel planted on the ground. Line your pedicure up with your other pedicure and then tap the big toe down and then the little toe down, pronating and supinating the foot. If we spend a ton of time in climbing shoes, our foot ends up looking like the toe box of a climbing shoe. So we want to make it sure that it looks like a foot again. Settle on the spot that feels super delicious and then try to lift your big toe while your little toes go down. And if they don't wanna to listen to you, yeah, there you go. And then switch, big toe down, little toes up. Ah! So give yourself a little help with your hands. Nice, and then switch a switcheroo, big toe up. And then one more time, give it a little help with your hands and a little help. Cool. From here, roll up and down the arch of your foot. Make sure to get the inside of the arch and the outside of the arch. Land just in front of your calcaneus, your heel bone, and line up your pedicure with your pedicure. With your big toe down on the ground, there's no place like home. How's that feel, Dalton? Feels good. Nice. All right, we will interdigitate our fingers and our toes. Put one finger between each toe and create some space between each ray of the foot. So once you get that locked down, how's that feel? Uh -huh. And then once you get that situated, do some ankle circles. After a few in that direction, reverse the direction. And here's where it's gonna get really fun. Make a toe fist around your fingers. So squeeze your fingers with your toes and then relax. So we're gonna do a contract, relax, hopefully make a little bit more space. One more toe fist and relax it. And then another toe fist and relax. If that feels good and you want to level up from here or if you just want something fun to play with, once you've done both sides, have fun experimenting with putting your toes together. Some people like to start from the pinky toe and move their way up. Some people like to start from the big toe and work their way down, but find whatever feels right to you and start to put the toes together. Mash them up. And if and when you get them together, hang out there and breathe. If you can get one together, great. If you often feel guilty when Netflix binging, do this, nice. And then if that worked out for you, slowly on inter digitate your toes. And try the other toe on top. Good work, Tom. My name's Alex, and thanks for watching. My goal here is to empower the future generation of climber, you, with the knowledge on how to train yourself. And I'm trying to keep everything for free, <laughs> but I need your help. Hit the subscribe button or share these videos with your friends and your local climbing gym. That way I can try and get even more pro climbers to share their training knowledge with you all in one place. Thanks again for watching. 